Hello everyone, how you doing? It's me, Joe, and welcome back to Miscreated. I want to straight up apologise for the lack of videos on this game. As I said in the last part, I'm really enjoying playing this, and I'm going to try and upload it a bit more often. It's just I've been really busy recently in real life, so I'm trying to get these out as much as possible. But anyway, I'm back in the same place we logged out in the last part, in the middle of the big town. I certainly know what this is called, um, or, or where I am on the map. Yeah, I want to try and find... I did hear a zombie, so I'm trying to be quiet. I did uh, want to try and find some tools in this part, because I want to start trying to build a base. I don't like this mask. I want to get rid of it. There you go. I look cooler like that. Um, yeah, I've got an axe, so I can get... Uh, I assume with this was a hatchet. I assume I can get um, wood from it, from trees. Then also I'm going to need a pickaxe for metal, and or maybe not metal, but I know you need it for stone. And a hammer, which I think you need to craft. Not entirely sure, but I'm gonna need those things. So not only will we be looking for players in this uh, in this part, but hopefully we can look for some tools that we desperately need to help uh, start the building, which I really want to get into because I've been doing my research on it. I've been on the wiki. I've been watching um, building tutorials on YouTube, just trying to find how the hell you do this uh, build base building. So I'd like to put that to good use and actually try and use it. Now the server is completely full, it took me a while to get on, so I think, what is it, 36 people per server? So yeah, there's 36 people on, so it allows me to find someone in here, I'm probably quite high, I guess. Um, it has been a few days since I played it, so I apologise if I'm a bit rusty. I am very scared of this, uh... oh, that's a zombie, okay. Scary enough, was a player. Yeah, I don't see any movement, but like I've said in the last part, the fact that all of these buildings are enterable is quite spooky. Are you going to see me? I'll just run past. Now you see me. Shall I try and shoot him? Stand still! Oh, screw this guy. Jesus. I'm jumping all over the place. I didn't like the fact I had to shoot either. Okay, he's running away now. I've got a gun out. Great, I'll run away as well. This place is actually really big, this town. Am I bleeding? I thought, yeah, I think I'm bleeding. I need to get somewhere to bandage. Yeah, my health is going down. I need to quickly bandage. Can I do it here? Oh, I thought it was going to be like an animation, so I was, going to try and, I was going to try and hide, then use it, but nope. Instant. Okay, I wasted a bit of ammo there. Hopefully it's not too much of an issue. If I do die, I really don't want to die, because I'm quite geared up, but if I do, um, we will just concentrate on base building. But... At the minute, because I'm geared up, I still want to try and find players to kill, and I still want to try and uh, get those tools so we can start doing the base building. Yeah, so I did actually waste all my ammo for my main gun. I did hit that zombie though, and he didn't die. I expected him to die the first time, but I expected wrongly. So we've only got a pistol now, but hopefully we can find some more ammo. That would be nice. Okay, now this is a truck you can actually drive. I've seen it in some videos on YouTube. Yeah, you can. It's got no front wheels. Oh, I've actually got a lot of wheels missing. Is there like an infantry on it though? Can, like an armour? Can I actually... Oh, there is an infantry. Okay. It's empty. <laughs> so I assume it needs all these wheels and battery spark plugs. So just thinking about doing that is giving me headaches. <laughs> no way am I going to even try it and attempt to get that thing working. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure that means there's a player. That zombie was like aggroed. And there's a zombie like hovering there in the sky. I don't know if you see it. I was just about to say, I think I'm going to leave the city behind and go and like check up on this hill because there's like this stuff up there. It might be the edge of the map, I don't know. But I don't know, man. I swear when the zombies run, that means they're aggroed. I could be wrong, but they were running last time and I like, ignored them and there was a player there. Yeah, I don't know. Let's try across this bridge then without dying, hopefully. So we've got like a highway there. Yeah, I think this might be up the edge of the map, these walls. 
I assume I'm like right up north or something. I don't know. Let's go up there. There might be something up this road. Just just, just have a little look around, see if we can see anything or find anything. Yeah, I did think this was going to be some sort of compound, but it's obviously at the edge of the map. So, oh God, it looks like someone's peeking over that wall there, that little tree. <laughs> look, from when you zoom out, look, that little thing there above my head, it looks like there's a little guy peeking over. <laughs> I don't know why, that scared me for a split second then. So, yeah, so, so technically we could probably build like a little camp up here. No one's going to click up here. If I put a tent down here, I doubt any, many people would find it. I don't know. We'll keep. We'll just run down this road, main road that's down here, then and see if that leads anywhere. Okay, I'll just come across this truck. It looks like it's got a lot of wheels. I'm just scared. This is someone's base up here. I'm trying to throw these woods along the side of the wall. Can you get under that? Hmm. Well, I don't think you can lay down. So. Hmm, this looks like it might, might be working. Oh, it's a squirrel. Okay, well, I don't think there's anyone here. It probably will need some stuff. Let's have a look. Yeah, you need, you need some spark plugs. Oh, it's got nails, though. We need nails. Let's take those. Yeah, it needs spark plugs and a drive belt, I assume, to drive it. You can get in it, but I don't think it will work. Oh, no, I'm just... Hmm. <laughs> okay. Which way is this driver's side? Oh, it's this side. Yeah, it's not starting. Oh well. I don't know, I just saw that come over the crest of the hill and I, I thought, oh god, that's uh, up here in the middle of nowhere. See, if someone's base sort of spawned up here, but I assume it spawned here. But that'd probably be quite easy to fix, actually, because it's got all the wheels, it just needs two things, but... <laughs> what am I going to do with it, like, in all honesty? Okay, so I think I'm approaching the town I ran past when entering that big city, which you see down here. So this might be a good place to try and find some of the tools I need. Um, but it's also going to be a place where players might be strolling around, so I have to keep an eye out. Okay, so I just found some rubbing alcohol, so I think I can finally try and do some crafting. Uh, if I can quickly find it, it should be, I should be able to, yeah, antiseptic bandages I should be able to make. Okay, so we've got, okay, can we make more? Do we get more out of the one? Where is it? I can't. So, okay, so only, you can only use one rubbing alcohol per bandage, which I guess is okay. I don't know why you use a whole bottle on it, but sure. We've got like a mask here. I'll take that. I haven't got anything on my face, I don't think. There you go. I can't get the feeling. Is this kind of like a... Daisy or like um, on armor too, like Daisy mod or just anything on like Chinaris where everyone stays around the spawn areas and never really travel. Like, I feel like you know I've been to this city, I didn't see anyone. I've been like in this little town that's next to the city. I've been really being cautious and looking around to see any movement. I haven't seen anything. So do people actually travel on this game? Is it just like any other survival game where you have to travel? Cause it really seems like it to me at the minute. Okay, I just found something called platform guides. It basically with platforms guides using crafting. You have learnt new craft. You tell me to do to do base pull and to find all the crafting menus. Is that a real thing? Tell me oh, <laughs> leave a comment if you if that's actually a real thing that you have to do. I did not know that was a thing. Do you have to have all the crafting menus to build walls and platforms and things? Or is it just like basic walls and then you find um and then you find blueprints to build like more advanced things. Because that would be mad if I had to find that's a The amount of looting I've done, that's the first one I've found this whole time. That would be insane. Oh, 
어. 리리? 3 헤드샷. 와우. That's insane. They didn't drop anything. Oh, why so much ammo on these bloody mutant things? He must have seen me run in here. Cause he just like I heard him, but I couldn't hear him. He's just standing in the doorway. Well, if anyone's here now, they know I'm here. <laughs> oh, I found a new flashlight. So that's my that's my old flashlight. I found it's called a mega light or something. Look how bright that is. <laughs> Insane, you've seen from miles away. It's just a ghost town, man. There's no one here. But because of all the buildings, like, I just think, like, what if I keep looking at the wrong time? Like, what if someone does just go into one of the buildings and then, you know, comes out out of nowhere? Oh, God, zombie. Any movement, man, I just instantly get scared. I know they're like, they're, they're like mutants, so they're not technically zombies, but. Kind of the same thing, really. Zombies are like a mutated, uh, dead body sort of thing. So, apologise if I keep calling them zombies and you want them to be called mutants, but they're zombies. Let's be honest. They're, they're naked men chasing me. <laughs> they want to eat. They want to eat me. So they're zombies. This game though is so hard to find loot. Like I'm finding such little stuff in these buildings. I've been checking every building so far. That I've gone past and I've not seen anything. It's nothing. I get the old backpack, but I've already got one, so I don't need one. The odd drink and stuff, but as you know, I've got so much food and drink. I, I don't really need that either. I hope that zombie thing doesn't kill me. I'm gonna try and get to this car. See if it works. And hopefully there's no one sitting here watching it and waiting for someone to get in it. Oh no, it's got no wheels. I thought it had wheels. <laughs> but it doesn't. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I just found a green jacket, so you can see I'm, I'm looking a little bit different now. I just want to get a full green camo, like I would like a green cowboy hat as well. It's the same jacket I had before, but the other one was grey, this one's green, so I prefer the, the green one. We'll try and get a fully camoed uh, layout, which is going to be difficult with trousers and stuff, because I've never seen... I think I've actually found a pair of trousers before. Okay, so we found some more rubbing alcohol, so let us craft that into another antiseptic uh, bandage. But I, I just assume if we keep transferring these over, we'll get a decent amount of bandages that will you know, be useful. Okay guys, I've run out into the woods. Uh, I have no idea where I am now, but I wanna see if I can get this uh, working so I can actually get wood from these. Or does it go straight into my inventory? Do I need inventory space, maybe? Oh, there you go. So I would maybe say certain trees. So a log has gone into my inventory. You can see him come out at the bottom left. Okay, so I can there's stacks in f stacks of five, which is good, I guess. Okay. Now I believe if you I can craft. Um. Oh God. Can you need like a plot hole? I gotta call this stuff. There you go. So I can actually afford to build a plot hole now. Well, once I make this into lumber, I can. Okay, so I've turned that wood into lumber. And I probably dropped a little on the floor, did I? Yep. Is there any more? It's not. Ugh, I feel really. I'm really close to the town. The, the big city is just like behind these trees. I'm really scared. People are gonna be running through. 
But anyway, so we've got lumber, so we could craft in. I don't know, I don't know where I'm going to put my base, I've no idea. Here might be a good spot, I've, I, just, I don't know. I don't know how it works, so if I put down a plot pole, does that mean someone can just come and nick it if I leave it there? I assume they can. So there you go, I'm making a plot sign. He used to claim land for base building. We got one. Fantastic. Let's just run up here, see if we can find something a bit more secluded. So there's a road right here. I don't even know about. Let's go up this hill. Oh, is this like a... If it's Oh man, the footsteps in this game. I'm looking this way, but I can hear footsteps to my right, but it's just me. Okay, so it doesn't look like I actually go up here. Look, I can't run up, up this bit, so I guess it's the edge of the map. Pretty good place to build a base then, if it's right on the edge of the map. So do you want to build a base here in this flat bit, looking over all this land? If I can, I'll put one here. I don't know how it's going to work though. Okay, let's try it. So I'm going to place this down. Go claim land. So yeah, so I assume people can just come and destroy that now. So I don't know exactly, know exactly how it works. But yeah, let's see if we can try and build something here. Let's try and build just a basic, um, a basic base essentially. Okay, I've changed my mind. I want to move this if it lets me. I just literally ran into the trees. It's a nice little, little like morsel. Oh. There's a much little more secluded spot around here. Look, nice little bit of flat land in these trees. I think this would be nicer there. I don't want anything big just yet because, like I said, this is the first base I've ever built on this game. So I don't want to particularly. Um... See, has this got to be inside the base? This plot pole. I don't. Surely not. Okay, so I'm building a platform. I don't know, it's four by four, so I don't know how this is going to work or what it's going to look like, but it's just big enough, I think, for now. You can build around if you want to get make it bigger. Where is it? Is it going on the floor? Exceeds the weight limit. Jesus, man. Okay. Where is it? Okay, place. Oh, a floor. So I'm going to build it here. Uh, can I put it anywhere else? Nope. Seems like just over here by this tree. That's fine. I can live with that. There you go. Wow. How amazing. <laughs> well, you got a floor now, which is good. Um, I've dropped some stuff here because there's a weight limit and it's really hard so I might keep some of my stuff here in this, in this uh, like open bit of ground like my gun just drop it there get some extra weight space okay so then how do you build a wall so I figured out like to do this you need a, f a floor panel so then you go to components you have to build like floor panels furniture panels wood ramp panels so I want to build a wall next I'm going to need to get loads of lumber or oh, wood, sorry, and make shelter poles and then make the wall panels. So I guess I'll do that now. Oh, that's the buddy. Oh. Okay, that's not a wall. It's this shelter wall. I didn't. I don't know what the hell that is. But I didn't know there was a little scroll down thing. So I can go down here and there's a. Uh, there's wood and wall panels here, which is what is what I actually need. Okay, let's try this again. So what I need to do is I need to turn all this into lumber. The crafting menu is pretty cool. It can get a bit tedious sitting here just having to press craft item over and over again. Especially when there's so much. But I don't know, I, I kind of like it. The craft system, you can't complain about it. That's tiny, that's not a wall, that's a fence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
Okay guys, I'm going to stop this video here. I've built three walls. Um, it's going to be a lot more. But let me know uh, how this works. Like, can someone just come and destroy this? So it's got a thing on it, so I assume they can. But can they just come and pick it up or not? I like, have to let me know. Uh, does it have to be in here? Does it be secure? So do I have to like build a wall around it to secure it? Uh, let me know that. Um, also let me know how doors work. Well, I don't know how they work, but... Like, can someone just come and take this base now? I don't know. Let me know. Um, all this junk over here. Is my gun despawned? My gun despawned? I was to pick up accident. Nope, looks like it's gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I guess stuff just despawns over time if you leave it on the floor. Well, I know that now. Uh, this stuff can despawn. I should need that one. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to end this one here. Sorry if it's a bit boring this episode. I'm starting on the base building, which is something I really want to do. Um, so in the next part, we'll really get into it. And uh, I'll sit and try and figure out how it works exactly, like with um, like the plot poles and stuff. Um, yeah, sorry, not much happened. I was hoping to get a kill because I was in the town and I went up a little bit, um, like a little village thing. So yeah, I'm going to log out here. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like the video if you like the series because I'm really enjoying it. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.